everybody back again Jean here in my sewing room Jean's block party 2019 and I'm showing you block tutorial for block number 10 of our 42 blocks and if you've been following along in blo block number 9 video this is block number 10 it's a simple nine patch but made up with four four patches so just a little bit more cutting and a little bit more stitching, but it's a simple nine patch. Again, my back looks lovely. This quilt, this block, as I was explaining before, this is a high contrast block. So if you're using scraps for the colors, just be sure that for the for the neutral here, whereas I where I have my white, that you have a nice high contrast, or else you don't see the pretty um, X. What it what this. Uh, block creates and I, I was saying in my tutorial you could just make this block and just make you know make six or eight of them or nine of them three three across for a little baby quilt and it's called an Irish chain it just creates lovely X's across your your um, quilt so this is block number 10 and as you saw again we're doing two blocks a week but this is the last the um, last tutorial was for block number nine if you haven't if you haven't catch, caught that one so go back and do block number nine which is this one a square within a square I happen to use striped fabric that I fussy cut but it's just two fabrics that's block number nine this week and this is block number ten which this tutorial is all about so I hope you enjoy it again you need um, a high contrast for this block um, even if, if you're doing two colors or if you're using scraps, you do need your high contrast to be able to see the, the um, image. So this is that. That's that. This is block number 10 for our block party. A quarter way there. Unbelievable. So um, I hope you're enjoying it, folks, and I will see you next week. See ya. Bye. So here we are, block number 10. And I've already cut my strips. Now, I've, I used some yardage for this block. Um, because I just wanted my plain white. So I use white yardage. Um, but you could use fat quarters for this one. I have erred on the I have, I have erred on the larger side for my strips. You could probably cut them 10 inches because we're just I'm doing a strip method to make this Irish chain square. Um, it probably could have been 10 inches from a 10 inch square, but I cut mine at 10 and a half inches. So I use my um, my yardage or fat quarters you can use. This is a very simple nine patch with a twist because of the actual colorways it's real contrasting i just wanted red and white this is obviously a red small print and this is obviously a tone on tone white fabric that i have so for fabric a which is my white i have cut four three and a half inch squares four three and a half inch squares and then i have cut two two inch wide by ten and a half inch strips Again, the traditional method would be cutting squares, but I'm doing it a strip method because it's, we, we're, we can then just sub cut them after you've sewn them nicely. So that's for fabric A. Fabric B, our contrast, I have cut one three and a half inch square and two two inch by ten and a half inch strips. So now what we're going to do is we're going to with our strips we're going to make two sets pretty sides together I have to find my pretty side which is this side we're just going to sew pretty sides right sides together we're going to sew this strip straight down quarter inch seam from top to bottom on both strips find my pretty side my tone on tone my right side to my right side. I'm going to just go and I'm going to stitch from the top to the bottom a quarter inch on both of these strips. I've sewn my two strips together. I've set that seam and I've pressed and I've rolled up that seam to the dark side. Now I'm just going to set them on my my mat here. I'm just going to set them like that. They're nice and square. They're nice and straight. My ends are lovely. And I'm going to subcut these strips using my ruler. I'm going to use my rotary cutter and my ruler. I'm going to cut two inch 
strips from this, find my two inch on my ruler. I'm going to find it here and here, all the way up and down. Hold my ruler, open my cutter, and cut two inch strips. Now I need, I need eight of these. So there's two, four, sorry, sorry, my camera clicked off. There's two, four, I'm doing six, find my two inch, there's six, go slowly, and eight. And as you see, we have a little bit of leftover. Oops, it shifted. Again, as I said in block nine, if you want to put some, then we have them left over. If you want to put some um, sticky little, maybe sandpaper dots on, so your, your, your uh, ruler doesn't slip. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start putting our blocks together. But first of all, we're going to be sewing our, our sort of checkerboard together. We're going to be nesting our four our four units here like this and again I won't I won't bore you what you're going to be doing this is just a four patch you've done this you've done four four patches and then the, in this unit we're going to make up our nine patch so we're just going to go over to our ironing board I mean our our sewing machine we've we've st we've sewn I mean we've pressed to the dark side so that unit right there nests together beautifully. It might be getting a bit redundant, you know, like, you know, like, oh, you press the dark side nest, you know, but like, we're all making all different variations of these blocks, very simple blocks, but some pretty ones. So we're just going to stitch that a quarter of an inch on all four of these nine, of these four patch units. I have stone, I've sewn my units together, my little four patches here, and again, I've set my center seam here and I've rolled it over to wherever it wants to go because it's both light and dark so just press them really well now we can put our block together now the orientation of this block you have to be careful you want the dark side you want the dark not the white you want the dark in each corner so we're just going to do a nine patch you want the dark in each corner and then the dark comes into the middle you put the you put the dark you put the red there in the middle and then you take your four white, just a simple, I have to figure out which is the proper side. Um, you put your four white or your four solid, whatever you want to do. But this block, as I was saying in the beginning, or as I will say, you want to make sure that you have a lot of contrast because there is your block. Now, you could make a, uh, an entire quilt out of this block, and it's called an Irish chain, a single Irish chain. And if you see that, you would just have a beautiful uh, chain of, of crosses of, of um, colors going right the way around, uh, down your quilt. This is a very simple, old-fashioned block called the single Irish chain, and it makes up a beautiful quilt by itself. Put a few of them together, six of them together, you have a lovely little baby quilt. But anyway, simple nine patch. Again, not going to bore you. We've done this a million times. You're going to take this unit over to here, and you're going to stitch a quarter of an inch. And then the same exact thing with our center unit and our bottom unit. You're just going to stitch your quarter inch, make your simple nine patch, take it over to your machine so you don't get the orientation wrong. You're wanting to have your corners, your dark corners in the center hitting the dark corner and then your dark corners on the outside so that frames your your block there and I will be back I've sewn my units together my three rows keeping the orientation correct at all times the dark 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 these five bits here go into the center you can get a little bit mixed up because sometimes you're like you know you might not be thinking and you're like oh yeah that that's it that's there and you get all messed up so just be careful of your orientation and again on um, block number nine remember we had th that block the, the, the fabric told me it wanted to go out, so these went in, this seam went in. Well, we're back to normal again. This middle unit here, we've really pressed to the dark because this is such a high contrast. So this white is gone. These seams are going into the center, which means what? To nest our seams here, we're going to press these seams out.
the seam goes out. So that's what I've done. I've pressed that seam out and that seam out. And also on the bottom unit here. So now, basically, simple nine patch. And I, I just wanted to reiterate that when you have a nine, a nine and a half or a nine, a finished nine inch block, you're, if you're using just a standard um, nine patch grid, each unit will be, it's because, as I said, becoming a bit redundant, each unit will be three and a half inches square. So it's sort of like a math. So we cut these two by two, but like they end up three and a half inches square. So again, if you need to square up your units, you're just squaring up a simple nine patch, which are all the same size, your patches, into three and a half inch squares. So right now I am going to nest, I'm gonna put this one over to here and nest these seams because they, they're going the opposite way. And then I'll come back and I'll do my bottom row. And then our lock will be finished. So there is my finished nine patch. Uh, my Irish chain nine patch with lots of contrast. Oh, it's so pretty. Um, block number 10. Um, oh, let me see. Um, this is always the scary part. <laughs> um, oh, it's slightly large. Just a, it's a little bit large on that one. Ooh, I wonder why that is. But I just the bottom's fine and the top's pretty good. But just there's just a little sliver over here. I hadn't squared up those blocks, so maybe that was it. But you have to square up each block individually. But this is fine. I square up my block at the very end. Just a little sliver right there. And coming around here. Perfect. Just one little sliver on that side. Just one little sliver. So there we go. My finished Irish chain nine patch block. So pretty. Shut my cutter. So pretty made out of two very, very high contrast fabrics. So yeah, block number nine and block number ten this week. So pretty. And I... Um, if you can see, I'm, I have my, uh, my, I have two fat, uh, I have my fat quarters and my, um, my 10 inch layer cake and my, my yardage. And I'm changing it up to like one week I'm doing the bright white and bright red. And the next week I'm doing my sort of maroon and tan. So then I will have the same amount of blocks. I can interchange them to make that lovely, that lovely, um, uh, uh, more of a varied textural look red and white quilt so um that's the so this week my bright red and white uh, fabrics that i'm using but again um I, 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 people have sent in their blocks to my web page beautiful Lo i love the scrappy ones wonderful way to use up the scraps um but yeah there's block nine and there's block ten a little bit different nine patches but um yeah we're on a roll ten we're almost a quarter of the way done Unbelievable. So I hope you're enjoying this, folks. Get your ruler, nine and a half inch square. Have fun. And um, yeah, I will see you next week. All right, bye.